Hello, hello. It is almost time for us to go live. I think we've got like one more minute. I'm trying to get my camera straight. It drives me nuts every time. Well, anyway. Hello, hello. We are going to be doing some fun things today. I actually um, think I have everything all ready to go, which is rare, which is totally rare for me to have absolutely everything ready to go. But I think I do. I think today I do. So I am um, in the process of getting all of these stamps. I know you can't see them, but there's a there's stamps everywhere. I think there's stamps everywhere in my house. Um, all the retiring stuff and whatnot. I hope you guys are all doing well. Hope everybody is doing well. We are going to be working with the Magnolia, Magnolia Lane Suite today. Hi, guys. Hey, everybody. We're going to be working with the Magnolia Suite today. Um, I know this is probably like really small stuff for, for some people, but... I wanted to show you. So this is our this is our new paper from the new catalog, right? And usually when we get our paper, we have to like rip it open or whatever. Look at this. There is a lip on this so that it closes and it opens and then you can keep your paper in it. I just think that was so fancy. I love it. I love it. But anyway, this is the paper. Let me show you. This again is the Magnolia Lane Suite that we're going to be working with today. And let me pull that down so you can see some of the paper. Ah! Okay, yeah. I really should probably take it out, but I know I've got like a ton of stuff to show you. Ooh, see, I didn't even really see that one. Pretty, very pretty. Hi, Kathy. Hey, guys. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, first things first that I'm going to show you. Um... I have a in color um, club that's starting up. I have two clubs that are starting up, but this one I have a flyer for. Next time I'll show you the flyer for the other one, but it's an in color um, club where you would get all the in color, all the in colors, and you would get not only would you get the in color stamps, but you would get the refill. You would get the stamp and blends. You get a pack of the cardstock, which is 24 sheets, which I have over there. And you would also get a spool of the scalloped linen. And let's see, let me see. I think I have this one of the scalloped ribbon, li mm, ribbons. This one happens to be in that purple posy. Can you guys see that? How pretty. Very pretty. So, whoops. So we will be getting that. And that's in this new in color club but i thought i'd show it to you i'm gonna put it on the site so you guys can see this too okay so that is that let me show you one other thing so this is the catalog we're working with the magnolia lane i think it's on page 37 not that i have been here a lot but this is what we're working with today how pretty I love this suite. Absolutely love this suite. Magnolia Lane. Okay. So here we go. Let me move some stuff out of the way so I know I know what I'm doing. Okay, I have this card that I made. This is not what we're making. But I wanted to finish it up before I got started. So I can kind of give you like a little hint of what the memories and more. Have you guys seen this? Memories and more. I love this. The Memories and More pack, and it has stickers. It has flower stickers, beautiful print cards for you to make cards. And this one right here, I made this um, image right here, this focal point image right there. That is also made from the card pack. I'm going to do the stamping here just really quick, but this is not what we're making. I'm going to show you what we're making in a second. I just thought I would ink this up, and I want to put this on the inside of my card because at the end of this, this is I'm going to be sending these away. 
So let me see if I make sure that that's dry a little bit. I just want to add a little bit of pink just right there. Whoops. Maybe some down here. Just a little bit. Okay. And so this is going to go in on the inside of this card. So what I did was I made a box. And today I'm going to show you how to make this box so that you can put all the cards that you'll make in this box. It's a beautiful, beautiful box, okay? So this card will go in this box. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. I love it. So look how, look, it's why, oops, my thingy fell off. Um, it's huge box. It is able to hold eight cards and eight envelopes. And I think it is absolutely beautiful. Totally, totally beautiful. And so what I'm, so what we're going to do is we're going to make this box. I'm going to pull this off because I want to show you um, the cards on the inside. I'm going to take this off since that kind of fell off. But we're going to make the box. And... This is great to give to someone as like as a gift for sure. Hold on, let's see. I think Whoa, sorry. How pretty. So those those memories and more cards are totally perfect for making cards to fit in here. So you can take those and you can make them here. And I made I just made a few samples. Okay? And these are the samples. These are just from the memories and more. So like there's no, you know, crazy stamping or anything like that yet. This is just from the memories and more pack. But you can do eight of them. Eight cards and eight envelopes will fit in here. And that's what this is going in. Going in there too. Look how much room there is left. There's a lot of room left in there. And then you just put the top on just like that. If it's perfectly... There's no gaps, anything like that. I love that. So sweet. Can you guys still see me? Hold on a second. For some reason, they said they can't see me. So, whoa. I think, I hope that's better. You guys let me know if that's better. I hope so. Woo. I don't know. My camera is messing up today. But, you know, what? what would be a day where it wouldn't be? messing up once I got on camera. Okay, so this is the box. Let's make the box really quick before anything else crazy happens. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna make we're gonna make the bottom of the box. Okay. Now I've already scored this, but we are gonna be cutting this down, cutting our paper down to and I've wrote it all out here. We're doing the bottom of the box and the bottom of the box is 10 by eight and a half. And we're going to score it at two inches on each side. And that's exactly what I've done. So this is 10, 10 by eight and a half. And then you score it at two inches on each side. And so then what we're going to do is we're going to cut on either end, not on all the ends. You don't want to cut the squares out. Okay. So here, and then we'll do one here. And then what we're going to do just make sure that we scored everywhere, which I did not, I mean, score, um, use your bone folder and put a nice crease in it. Since you're making a box, you're always going to want to put a nice crease in it. Okay. Hi, Laura. Thanks guys for watching. Here we go. I make this beautiful box. You guys have got to make this box. It holds so many cards, eight cards, right? That's a lot. Okay, so we have scores on everything. Then what I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna cut off just a little bit here. Now I wanna say this, this is not my um, original creation. This is a box that I got from one of the ladies over on another site that I belong to. Um, I believe her name is Michelle. Mich Michelle. And my friend Chris did it the other night. 
and I was like, you know what? I am going to try it. So here it is. Okay, so we've cut off, I think we've called that mitering, um, the sides a little bit. And then what we're going to do, we're just fold these parts in. And I'm going to use, let's see. I'm going to use... I'm gonna use some tear tape because I really want the box to stay together. Use a little bit of tear tape here, just like this. And we wanna make sure we have them on all four sides, all right? And tear tape is really, really good for when you're doing boxes. You wanna make sure that you use the tear tape to hold your box together. You would hate for like the person who's getting your box to get the box and then it's it doesn't hold up. Like it doesn't stay together. You don't want that. Especially if you're going to put stuff in it. Like these box, this box is so big. Can you see at Christmas time, like maybe putting a pair of gloves in here or something like that? I think that would be cool. Put a pair of gloves. Maybe some socks. People give lots of socks for Christmas too. All right, so now I'm going to take my snips and I'm going to take off all of these and then we're going to put the bottom of our box together. Okay. That's why we say in theory. It always works so much better when I'm not on camera. I get on camera and it seems like everything. Gosh. Always, always, always. I hope you guys are enjoying your summer. If it's summer where you are. It might still be a little cold. I've heard it was cold in some places. Luckily for us, it's not cold right now. It's been like 90. But that brings tornadoes sometimes, so. We take what we can, right? All right, I'm almost done, almost done. Almost done, okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our box together and again, you can see that this is the bottom of the box. And that little mitering that we did, it just makes it makes the box come out even. Sweet. So sweet. There we go. So now we have the bottom of our box all done. Easy peasy. Right? Just a little bit of scoring and a little bit of cutting. Okay, so we have the bottom of our box now. We want to do the same thing with the top of our box. This time I'm going to score ahead of time because that's what I should have done last time. I'm just going to go ahead and do the scoring or scoring the burnishing. I always say that. It's already been scored, Raquel. It's already been scored. And let's do this one last one on this side. And now we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to cut on one side. We're not going to cut this whole triangle off here, or triangle square off. Been away from school too long. All right. And then cut there just to miter the insides, miter, just like that. And do the same for this side. Oh my goodness. There we go. All right. So on this one, I'm not going to use as much um, tear tape. I'm just going to use like a little piece just so that I don't take forever and, you know, they don't come off forever. But you are going, when you do yours, make sure you put a lot of tape on. You don't have to, you know, overkill it or anything like that. But just make sure you put a lot of tape on depending on what you're gonna put in here. Like I said, these hold eight cards and envelopes. So this is this is totally gonna be so good for somebody making gifts, gifts for this season, Christmas time. You know, some people have already started like making their Christmas presents too, or not Christmas presents, but Christmas cards. I know that we need to get, get on it and do some of our Christmas cards. Did you know in Hobby Lobby, oh my goodness, Hobby Lobby has Christmas stuff up already. Well, so much for, you know, 4th of July, anything like that, right? None of that happening anymore. All right. 
All right, we're almost done. I can stop talking. Here we go. All right, so now we have the top. And there is the top to our box. Voila! Oh my goodness, voila! So this one is, is just the same as this one. It's just the colors are inverted. But that is our box. Now, we do need to put on our, kind of like our decoration on top. And all the decoration is, is these two pieces right here. And I'm going to just adhere those down. This piece right here is so that I make sure. Oh, you know what? I didn't give the measurements for the other one. I'll make sure I put that up there. You know, I always turn these into a... Um, a YouTube video after I'm done so I'm gonna make sure that they are there especially when we get around to the YouTube video okay so that part's done and then just one more time I'm gonna run this here whoops and this is gonna fit right on top of there just like that beautiful so now we have two beautiful boxes absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and again you can fit all of your cards in there your cards and envelopes right I love it I don't have exactly eight in there yet but I'm getting there so now I have two beautiful card boxes to put those in you guys have got to try it the measurements I will make sure that I put those up here actually I'm going to show you this because I want to make sure that you get the measurements as well though so the bottom we did at 10 by eight and a half the top is six and five eighths by eight and a half can you see that and then we score it one inch on every side all four sides and this is for the DSP portion of it okay so again, I'll have those up and there also be a blog, there'll be um, more information about the product on my blog. Um, you can see that there, for all the stuff that we used and including the Good Morning Magnolia, the Magnolia Suite, um, the Kling stamp sets. This, absolutely stunning. Absolutely love it. So thanks you guys so much for joining me. My uh, mission here is complete. I wanted to make sure I made these cards, um, this card box for these cards because um, for my friends that uh, come to class with me, we're going to be making something really special. So I just want to thank you guys for hanging out with me. Thank you for everyone watching the replay. Um, I really appreciate it. And you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. This goes on there just like that. I'm gonna try. I'm not gonna try to put that on there because I don't want to mess it up. But it goes on there just like that. And this little piece hangs in there, <laughs> hangs in there just like that. So anyway, this is this is the box that we made today. I hope you guys try and make this box yourself. I will be talking to you soon. Thank you again, and I'll see you next Wednesday. Bye now.